As you can hear my birds out there, the robins and the cardinals are singing right now. For someone who knits to relax. I'm as attention deficit as they come. Jeannie Sumnick works it. It's obsessive. It's obsessive. Every day after work, you'll find her on this porch. We're rocking. Her passion on her lap. Baby stuff. And also. Lots of baby stuff. On her grandkids. Well, there's always a different project. My son-in-law is the only one who doesn't get socks from me because he's allergic to wool. But this isn't just a story about knitting after work. Good morning, everybody. Because Jeannie Sumnick believes. To further ensure his success. To knit. About three feet in length. Is to know. share. Show me with your hands if you're not knitting. Three feet is a yard, right? It has been the biggest class of knitters I've ever had. Guess what I'm making. Stop it. This stitch right here and go down and pull that thread up for you. I'll show you how it's done. Okay. All of this started with one lesson for one girl. And she taught me Among Mrs. Sumnick's third and fourth graders. Shoot, you've got my good crochet hook. Eddie Dinah's Countryside Elementary. I saw, I think, Owen and Andrew. They were knitting, so I just wanted to learn how to knit. Soon, almost all of them the needle goes were hooked. It goes behind and then you wrap it around um, from the right. These days, if they're not talking about knitting. Julia, look at this. Doesn't this look cool? They're yeah, using their hands very peaceful. to write poems. Yeah. Knitting really rules. About knitting. Nicely done. Yeah, the and that's the knitting game. Back in December, they raised $200 for Kids Against Hunger. And these are both bookmarks. They by selling bookmarks and coffee and cozies they knitted. And then this gets sewn up like this and fits over a coffee mug. There they are putting money in the bucket every morning. They'd take their knitting home at night. They'd come back to school the next morning with three and four bookmarks. I'm going to need you to put away your knitting. Not every school subject is knitting conducive. So we're going to be watching the captions in the story. But Mrs. Sumnick believes I mean something calming happened. During his first full season, the needles the and yarn are Mark placed in busy third right and fourth right grade away. fingers. It was his 62nd home run of the season. I take my knitting that to workshops. Far longer home runs. Did somebody say to me at one time, this one, however, they thought it was rude that I was knitting, and I said, if I weren't knitting, I wouldn't be paying attention. You want to be really firm with it. Calming, it, it turns out, and you pull this is sometimes a necessary prescription okay, for the teacher, too. There's no good time to get cancer. Two and weeks before we sat in her porch, Jeannie Sumnick was diagnosed with breast cancer. She's leaving to have some surgery. Lesson shared in the classroom. This is what I did at the doctor's office yesterday. Also apply outside it. And the nurse said, we don't normally get blood pressure that low. <laughs> <laughs> for these meetings, and I said, oh, perfectly calm. I think you just dropped a stitch. Hang on a sec. On her last day with her class stitches. before surgery. Like this. In her last year before retirement. I just tie it on for now. It's already a parent. I'll probably knit for the rest of my life. There's a little of Mrs. Sumnick in her students. I'll always think of her when I knit. I love that yarn. I can't wait to see it all knit up. If all goes well, Bye, honey. she'll be Thank back for more hugs. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Before right, the well, school year ends. Love you guys. Back in a yeah, class. Found. Right. Or life. Take care, guys. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, Edina. Bye. Say hi to your sister.